Thunder E here and Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2022 and also this is actually older content. So I apologize. I was trying to make this video a while back, but it really got busy. And also this is something different on the channel. Now, this is all about my uh, trip to London using JetBlue's Mint, which is their business class offering. Now, I went, went with this trip with Board Femme. I actually did some content around the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and she did some content on the Galaxy Z Flip 3. So you can definitely go check those videos out. Uh, but we arrived at the airport and uh, they had a, a separate check-in area for Mint, which was cool. Uh, but uh, because JetBlue doesn't have a lounge area yet, we decided to head over to the TWA hotel which is kind of across the street it's not in the airport it's basically away from your gate but we wanted to just check out that experience really cool seeing the old planes um checking in the in the restaurant there having some food before our flight um and then we decided to go ahead and head into the gate now I honestly say the TWA um, hotel is a great place to check out. It's got that retro vibe and just kind of brings back the old old uh, view of aviation, if you will. Now, since I don't usually make content like this, I want to give a big shout out to the guys that I definitely watch on YouTube and you should definitely check them out. Guys like Jeb Brooks, uh, Sam Chu, as well as also Vicarious Voyager. They make some very really great aviation content and I think, um, you know, they do a much better job than I do. I just wanted to kind of share my experience here and kind of put something different on the channel. So as I mentioned, we headed over to the gate and since again, JetBlue doesn't have any lounge or any special access for this, uh, I was at the gate shooting my Z Fold 3 content. This is where I kind of showed some stuff here. Uh, our plane was parked. It was an A321neo, uh, which is a um, not a wide body plane, but it, it's good enough to, to cover that distance. Now, uh, the thing at the gate is we had like a standard uh, check-in process. Yes, if you're meant, you got it to check in early. It's a little bit disorganized uh, just because I think most people just kind of do that. Once they hear this boarding, everyone kind of rushes in. But I got to, uh, to check in and once I walked in, I was greeted to this awesome row of uh, mint class seats. Now, they are 16 mint class seats uh, from the flight from JFK to um, London. And uh, these are really great seats. The very first two are the studio seats. Now, I'll talk about the studio seats later, later in this video. But it is a very welcoming experience. You've got that blue lighting, very comfortable uh, in general. The seating arrangement is one to one. So there's basically one seat per aisle. Boardfriend was sitting on 10A and I was sitting in 10F. Uh, before we actually even jump to the seat tour, you are greeted once you get to your seat with a drink of your choice, some warm nuts uh, and just uh, things to nibble on, which is great. Uh, honestly, the service on this flight was impeccable. I will talk more about the crew and the service, but they did a fantastic job throughout the whole flight. So when you arrive at your seat, uh, you're greeted with this big pouch and an amenity kit. Uh, now that big pouch is basically your blankets and your pillows for the flight. There is no bedding uh, because the seats are made to be really comfortable and I honestly say they are quite comfortable. Now the bedding is made, the uh, blanket is made by Tough and Needle. Um, and then next to your seat on the left hand side, you have controls for your seat. So you can lay flat, you can put in different positions, whatever you want to do is right next to you on your left. And then on the right armrest right below that you do have a power plug and also the ports for your uh, headphones uh, as well as a USB type C port which does uh, uh, 10 watt charging so again you do have multiple plugs here I do like the USB type C port that's uh, a big plus. And then we move to uh, the window. Uh, next to the window, there is a wireless charging pad. Now, I didn't expect this on the flight, but it was really cool to see uh, the fact that I could just drop my phone. And I was kind of, you know, worried that, you know, while in flight, while there's turbulence, that it might actually slide off, but it actually stayed pretty well there. So I was able to charge all my different devices, including my Z Fold 3. Uh, now there's also a little uh, kind of like cubby hole where you can put some stuff there. Just don't forget it when you're there uh, on the flight. 
So right above the left armrests, there is a push button below the side table, if you will, that opens up your tray. So you can access the tray right there. I like the fact that it tucks into the side. So it's a very clean process. It doesn't necessarily interfere with what you're doing. And it's a pretty sizable tray. You can put your laptop on there. I used it to do some work. Uh, and then below that, uh, below the tray area, you do have access to your IFE remote uh, if to use that if you want to. But again, the IFE system is touchscreen, which we'll get to in a second. Now on the left hand side, you do have this uh, table space, space area, if you will, that uh, you can put stuff on there and you also have some of the amenity kits as well. Next to that is another power plug that has a USB port, headphone jack, as well as also, um, you know, just, just plugs for you to actually use. So there are two plugs on your seat uh, for this flight. And then towards the end of that table area, you do have a lamp uh, which you can turn on and off. Now, in terms of auto storage options within the seating area, there is a slide out drawer right below the IFE where you can put in documents, passport, things like that. And then towards the bottom right, you do have like a cubby holder uh, that has uh, some slippers which were provided for uh, us in this flight, uh, which is great. And below your footrest, there's also so some more storage space where well. you can put your shoes, jackets, whatever. Uh, in terms of just storage options, there's a ton around the seats. There is even a hook to hang your headphones, which is right next to the window, which is great. Now, they did provide headphones on this flight from Master and Dynamic, which are really great headphones. So I'm really impressed to see that. Uh, in terms of noise cancellation, they still don't beat out the uh, Sony XM4s, which I, I use for most of my flights. But again, a really good offering, uh, especially for a long haul flight like this. I honestly can't remember everything specifically in the amenity kit, but here it is for you guys to check out. I think all in all, you'll find that there's a lot of seating space uh, within uh, this flight. So it is a great uh, just package overall. Now let's take a look at the IFA system. It is a 17 inch display. Now you can actually connect your device to the system so you can use uh, the remote control and JetBlue does offer free Wi-Fi on this flight all their flights in general, and you've got some really fast speed. So that part to me is great. Again, a nice blend of technology for someone like me makes a whole lot of sense with this. Now they do have some uh, some, some decent options. I would say it's a vast options of, uh, of content, but it's enough for you to go around to watch. There's also uh, live TV as well, but I ended up using the internet to just do some work on there. And yes, for all the uh, flight enthusiasts, they do have a full 3D map, uh, which is actually pretty cool to see. Uh, and uh, I now understand why people like those 3D maps. It's a great experience, especially showing the whole flight. So not long after we took off, we had dinner service. This was a late flight leaving JFK. And uh, the way dinner is served is you have a menu you can select three out of five items from. You also have a cocktail menu as well as also a wine list. Uh, nothing too extensive, but there were absolutely solid options. Now, I can't remember specifically what I picked on the menu, uh, but I have to tell you that everything I tried on this menu tasted fantastic. Uh, this was probably one of the best meals I've had in the air. Uh, and this was impressive for a carrier like JetBlue, especially for their first uh, business class product uh, going transatlantic. Uh, this was really solid. I, I finished everything. It was superb. I can't state enough how great the meal was. So after that scrumptious meal, I decided to put on my slippers and went to go check out the bathroom for mint. Now there's nothing too special about the bathroom. It's very standard. Uh, it's a clean bathroom, well laid out, but nothing in terms of just high amenities. So I made my way back to my seat and found that board firm I already had passed out. She was gone. 
completely. Uh, now, the cool thing about the seats is that you do have your own privacy. So right next to the lamp, you can go ahead and press that button and that closes the door. So you've got your own privacy area, which is nice. And no one can see into it unless you're walking past you know, and you lean into it. So that's actually pretty cool. Now the bedding was really comfortable. Uh, this is done by Tough and Needle. The bedding is actually the seat itself, lay flat. I had a lot of space. I was able to sleep for about two to three hours on this flight. It was a six hour, 45 minute flight in total. So that was a good amount of time for me uh, on the flight. Watch some uh, movies on my Z Fold 3. And then when I woke up, I was greeted with uh, breakfast, which was an egg tart and a yogurt with some nuts. And it tasted great again. Uh, really good service overall. I really enjoy the service on this flight. Uh, maybe the next time I will go ahead and try the studio option, which is much bigger. Now the studio, as I mentioned uh, earlier, is the first, two, first row. Um, on the flights it's basically 1A and 1F um, and you do have a larger display at 22 inches you have extra seating if you have a guest someone to sit, with, sit there with you uh, just more space and room in that uh, on that seating but on this flight though I just had the standard mint and I have to say though I have to give big shout out to the crew um, who who took care of us on this flight uh, Alex Roland and Cesar they did an amazing job they were absolutely professional they they were very attentive, honestly, one of the best crews that I had actually dealt with. I eventually took Mint on my way back uh, from London and uh, it was also a great experience again and i was able to talk to the staff and you know just they asked me about what i thought about the product now you guys are wondering okay well, how much did it cost me to take this flight so um i bought the flight uh originally um as a, a mint flight for just one way and it actually cost me 850 dollars so for a business class flight 850 dollars from jfk to to london it's quite impressive because the competitors whether it was british airways or even united i was looking at roughly 1600 to 2000 dollars for just that one way flight now i did when i did the round trip i also paid paid around 850 i think it was like 870 back so it cost me sixteen hundred dollars for this flight uh, just out of pocket um and it was a great experience all the way through so there you have it guys that is my look at uh you know uh, JetBlue's Mint uh, from JFK to London. If you like videos like this, let me know. I'll try and make more of these for you. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more flying this year, so I'll try different services and also see some of the cool tech they have. I definitely enjoyed seeing the wireless charger uh, on the flight, which is pretty cool. I also like the fact that they supplied really good headphones from Master Dynamic, and I also like the fact that you know uh, they've got the fat one of the fastest internet speeds and it's free uh, on their flights, as well as uh, the I IFA system allows you to control it from your smartphone, uh, which is also a great thing. So uh, thank you very much, guys, and always enjoy entertainment.